you guys, it's your girl Carla here and for my fifth video in my playlist live series, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to survive playlists with anxiety and SPDs. So without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Okay, since almost everybody knows what anxiety is, I hope, I'm going to explain what sensory processing disorder is to those of you who do not know what sensory processing disorder is. It is basically a neurological disorder which the sensory information in the individual's and the, and the individual perceives results in an abnormal way and in this case sensory processing disorder affects the way I can hear sounds and it makes me super super sensitive to loud noises and other noises. So one thing I definitely recommend to bring is a bag like this one with the essentials that will hopefully help you calm down if you're feeling anxious or over overstimulated because it could truly help you calm down more quickly so you can get back to the front of the playlist. And also, the next video I will be uploading on Thursday will be, I will be showing you guys what is inside my sensory bag. So, yeah. So another tip I definitely recommend is on Friday when you get to the convention center is if to find places that are quiet and away from people that you can go to if you're feeling anxious or you're feeling that you're about to get overstimulated because it is important to know where those places are especially if you're getting overstimulated because if you know where those places are you can get to them quickly without getting lost during that weekend another important tip for surviving playlist live is to always know where the medical station is because anxiety and spd sensory processing disorder at least for me is known to give me a fast heart rate and make my blood pressure high to the point where my blood pressure is almost skyrocketing to the point where i almost Faint, and that is definitely not good so definitely know where the medical center is that weekend and you'll be set if anything happens during playlist weekend so another important tip to survive playlist is to have someone to text if you're having an anxiety episode or getting overstimulated because if you aren't being a parent or guardian you could text your friend and they could and tell them what's going on and they can help you and they, they can obviously call whoever is your guardian at playlist that weekend because your parents would want to know where you're, what's going on and where you are so that they can find you and, they can help, and so that they can help you too. Another tip for surviving playlists is to bring a jacket like this one because from like this one because for me at least wearing a jacket in those types of situations actually helps my anxiety quite a bit and I've worn a jacket to like the past two playlists I've been to and I have to say my anxiety has gone down quite a bit when I when I when I wear a jacket. So yeah. And my final tip to surviving playlist live with anxiety and sensory processing disorder is to try to have an amazing time regardless if you have anxiety or sensory processing disorder. Like I have said in almost every one of my playlist live series videos that I have done on this channel, playlist is an amazing event and it is definitely going to be an amazing weekend for everyone. So, yeah. Alrighty you guys, so that's going to conclude it for this video. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a humongous thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to follow me on social media, my social medias will be down below in the description. And also, if you would like to join the Little Miss Army, which you should because it's awesome, make sure you guys subscribe to me and turn on that bell from so you will get notifications every time I upload. So, until next time, beautiful people of the interwebs, stay strong, stay beautiful, stay fabulous, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out, internet. Bye!